And so a lot of great things going on here at the university. And you know, for me, it's just an honor. It's an honor to be able to bless kids with an opportunity that, you know, thank God for a lot of people that came before me and gave me the opportunity. We go next to Courtney in the back. I'm oh, sorry, Madison. I'm sorry. <laughs> My course, Courtney. My bad. <laughs> hey, Tamika. Um, August is obviously an exciting time with the induction ceremony and, and all the former Lady Balls that were here to support you and former coaches. But what does it mean this weekend to have the university as a whole supporting you? This is awesome. I mean, literally coming in Friday, I got my husband and my mom with me, and my sister's been behind the scene doing all the work with Dara, but it has been phenomenal. Uh, I, I can't just, I can't say enough, and I said this earlier to our alum, but I, it's just been great to be around so many former Lady Balls. It's been great to come back to the university and come back here where, I mean, this is the beginning. Right? This is my beginning as, as an adult, of, an official adult, which is weird. I know you're coming to college. But to come back now, 20 years later, I graduated in 2001, and to still have the same feeling, to still have the fame that we have, the, 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 like just the receptive, um, acceptance, and going to the football game, now going to the basketball game. I love being back in Knoxville and just being around each of you. Maria. Tamika, you're not a stranger to Knoxville. You come uh -huh. often because of your foundation and, and the work you do. Obviously, you were just here in August. Did Tennessee send the, the private plane to get you this time? I saw the Tennessee logos in your plane shot. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great to, to be able to come back and to be here. So, yes, I did come in the private plane. Uh, told KJ, anytime she wants me to go on recruiting visits, if they want to swoop by and grab me an Indy, I'm always available to be your sidekick. What, how nice is it seeing Kelly again? I know you obviously played together on the 1998 undefeated team. Just, I mean, those bonds never break, do they? They don't. Um, you know, it's, it's great, not just with KJ, but the alum, the fans, you know, people that have been a part of my journey from the beginning. To be able to come back and, I mean, it's almost like you don't even, like time hasn't even gone. You know, we get back, KJ, we had dinner on Friday when we got here, and just talking about everything we talked about had nothing to do with wins and losses. It was about the relationships. It was about the locker room presence. It was about crazy things that happened in the locker room or just our lives in general. And that's what it's all about. It's the friendship. Chloe? Tennessee fans have had quite the past uh, few weeks. You know, last week Candace Parker was here and Peyton Manning, and now you're here. What is your message uh, to Vol Nation, Big Orange Nation, uh, today as they all gather here to watch the Lady Vols take on Texas in this, you know, thing they're trying to kind of trying to do with uh, Phil Thompson Bowling? Yeah, I mean, it's, this is what we need. You know, I, I talked to our alum just a little bit ago. We need to support and wrap or continue to wrap our arms around the Lady Vols and our Vol family. And I think today, you know, just uh, we've gone through some ups and downs. But that's what life is. Life is full of ups and downs. The young ladies that we are here to celebrate and to watch in this game today, I mean, it really is about the Lady Ball experience. I came here because I saw in eighth grade the fan. I saw the orange. I saw Pat stomping up and down the sideline. I felt the family. I felt just what Lady Ball basketball was about. And I want these young ladies to have that and to be able to experience that. And it starts with each one of us filling the, filling the house. Like we need to be here every game, every time when they're playing, whether they're home or away, just continuing to support our ladies. So Cora. You're back. Um, you're for a game day. What kind of emotions and memories does that bring back for you? Coming onto campus brings the emotion back. And every time I come, like, telling somebody yesterday, every time I come, I feel the same way I felt when my mom dropped me off my freshman year. It's literally like you're coming home, being here, being like engulfed in what this, what the city is about, what the university is about, and then just of course like the Lady Ball family. So I, like I, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to play. I, I don't know if I have another year of eligibility. I don't know if KJ would suit me up, but if she needs me, I'm here for it. Madison. You talk about your relationship with Coach Harper, and obviously it's something special being able to share an undefeated season with her, but just how cool is it as an alum 
to see a former player of her caliber leading this program now? And I think it's great just thinking about the coaching staff that we have and, you know, continue to have. And obviously, anybody coming after Pat is going to have their hands full. So I think Holly, you know, I want to make sure, like, I, I feel like Holly did a great job under the circumstances. You know, now you got KJ at the home. And I think that, you know, one of the things for her is, like any coach, I mean, I'm play for a lot of different coaches. You got to figure out your culture. You figure out your style. And it's a couple, it takes a couple years to get to that. Um, so I think Kelly, like watching her, watching her in practice yesterday, I'm like the way she stands, the way she kneels, the way she looks, like there's so many patism in what she does. So I'm really excited about, you know, the progress that she's had. Uh, really excited about the players that she continued to look at and bring in and recruit. I'm um, excited about the future of Lady Ball. Reese, you spoke about the players. Did you get a chance to chat with them? And what did you say today in the locker room or whatever? Yes, yeah, so I didn't get a chance to talk to them today. I feel like there was a lot, there was a lot going on this morning. <laughs> but uh, yesterday I had an opportunity to come and speak to them before they had practice. And you know, really for me it was more important to answer the questions that they had. You know, I know Candace coming last week and having the opportunity to talk to them. And you know, sometimes you can just sit in a room and you can just sit back. But I really wanted it to be engaging and have them have the opportunity to ask questions. So we just talked a lot about, like, what does it take to be a championship team? And how important it is as individual for, the, for them to step up in their different roles. And obviously it's a, a very different situation right now with Ray being out. But you have other players that have to step up. And we've won championships, been a part of a lot of championship teams and winning teams. And when one player goes down, other players have to step up. And I feel like that's really the big thing for this team. We'll take one final question from Cora. I know you said it feels like your freshman year every time you come back, but thinking back to that time, how surreal is it, does it feel to be where you are now coming back after all you've accomplished and still being so connected with this program? Yeah, I mean, like, if I had Pratt Pavilion way back when, I don't know, maybe I would have been a better player. Who knows, you know? Um, I love coming back. And, you know, even coming, it is surreal being here. It's surreal just the energy that you get every single time you walk on campus, every single time you get an opportunity to see the players. And, you know, women basketball in general, next year we'll be celebrating 50 years for Title IX. Just the impact, even talking to the alums, the impact, those young ladies allow the opportunity for me to play, who allow the opportunity for the players that we have nowadays, who now are looking at the WNBA as their next step in overseas basketball. So it's so real for me to be a part of the journey and in a sense be a trailblazer, knowing that I'm not that old, right? We're not that old. But just to be a trailblazer and to be able to set that path and um, have these young ladies that want to come behind Candace, want to come behind myself, want to come behind a lot of the greats, whether it's on or off the court. And that is, that's what it's all about. All right. Thank you. Tanika. Thank you. Thank you.